<laughs> he has a lot of energy this morning. <laughs> Waiting, uh, waiting to see Dr. Steinberg pre-op. Yeah, I can see. Can you say hi to Dada? Hi, Daddy. the airport right now we are gonna head to California and we're just getting checked in Lincoln's eating some mango and we're gonna head on out so. we're eating meatballs we forgot our bibs so we'll try not to make a mess here Lincoln likes that he keeps saying more more that's a big bite <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. Ready to go on the plane. Of our flight and we're waiting for a train to get a rental car. The governor welcomes you to California. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln was such a trooper on the plane. He slept for about half of it which is really good. Um, not too much fussing just a little bit. So I'm so tired. Are you tired Linky Link? We need to get a car and get to the hotel and rest because we have some appointments starting tomorrow pre-op appointments and then surgery is on Thursday. So a few days to uh, get through the, all the initial stuff and then we'll be on to the surgery. Are you, are you tired, Linky Link? Such a trooper. You're such a big boy. So proud of our big boy. He gave me a kiss on the plane. I was holding him as we were getting on the plane and we we're stopped waiting to sit down and he leaned forward and he goes mm, and he kissed me twice in a row initiated it which is rare he usually doesn't initiate it people respond he totally initiated so it was really sweet look linky that's our cue lincoln are you tired bud say hey, what did Turn i look like dad i've been on a plane it's midnight Good morning. Look at how tired we look, guys. We just woke up and we got in last night around one o'clock. We finally got to our room and checked in and all that. One o'clock California time, which is was three o'clock for us. Um, and we both got to sleep on the plane a little bit, so that was good, but we're still really, really tired. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. But Lincoln slept really well, and um, it's like 10 o'clock now. We slept in a bit, and uh, he has his first appointment at noon with um, the doctor. They're going to do an MRI today, and don't grind your teeth, Fees. He's grinding his teeth this morning. He doesn't normally do that, but he used to do it, and he, he hasn't in a while. I don't know if it's just exhaustion or stress or what, but 
We're gonna go see the doctor today. Are you ready to go see the doctor? <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Ow! <laughs> My ear. We are in the cafeteria at Stanford and Lincoln just went back for his MRI and then they're doing the angiogram right afterward. So we're grabbing some food because we're really, really hungry. Lincoln wasn't able to eat this morning and we didn't want to eat in front of him and so none of us really ate until now. Um, it's a little bit after lunchtime, but this is such a beautiful hospital. Um, it's a brand new building. It's really bright out there so you can't really see, but the weather's perfect and it's just a beautiful building, lots of outdoor space and um, just really a comfortable place to be when you have to be in a hospital, you know. Yeah. But um, we were really, really um, pleased with the staff here and um, the nurses and everybody. They were so kind with Lincoln as they were um, giving him the, the meds to calm him down and um, they were doing high fives with him and just getting him to smile and laugh and just being really <laughs> sweet with him. And um, I know he's in good hands and so yeah. really, really thankful to get started. Um, excited that he's he's um, you know starting his MRI and angiogram and all of the pre-op stuff that has to happen before he's ready for his surgery in a couple of days but ready to get it over with so get it done yeah Little boy, I know. <laughs> He's just such a dang cute kid. I know. Cool really? spiky hair. So sweet, so cute. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> waiting, uh, waiting to see Dr. Steinberg pre op. Can you say hi to Dada? Yeah. Hey, hi. Papa. Papa. Yeah. That's me. So energetic. <laughs> well, he had to lay in a bed all day yesterday. So he's probably like, I'm alive. I'm alive. pre-op appointments. Um, we've been in, here in California for a couple of days now and we've met with uh, his neurosurgeon and the anesthesiology team and he had an MRI and an angiogram yesterday and that went really well. Long day but it went well um, and now that we are done with all the pre-op appointments we have the rest of today and all of tomorrow for some family time before Lincoln surgery early on Thursday morning. So. We are going to make the most of this and have some really special time. We're driving into San Francisco right now 
and uh, we're going to meet up with Steven's dad and we're going to have some dinner. Lincoln, are you talking back there? Linky Link. Um, and go to Chinatown. And then tomorrow, what are we doing tomorrow? We're gonna drive down to Big Sur. Drive down to Big Sur. Via Highway 1, which is supposed to be the most breathtaking drive in the country. Yes, we're looking forward to that. I'm just really glad that they set it up this way where families have like one day off after all of the pre-op stuff, which is kind of intense, um, to just have a family day before the surgery day. I don't know why they set it up that way, but we were talking about it, and I'm like, this is really, really an awesome yeah. setup because we get to now kind of just decompress a little bit before the big day. And just and, spend some time with Lincoln and make some memories, you know? Yeah, have a little bit of quality time with him because um, it is a big surgery, and there is going to be quite a bit of recovery time. We had a little bit of a nap back at the hotel um, and then now we're heading into San Francisco so hopefully he's rested up a little bit but it's such a beautiful drive and we just definitely plan to make the most of this family time that we have and um, some special time with Lincoln before surgery so. When we were dating this is Ago. Uh, she plucked my eyebrows <laughs> so they're this little bitty thin strip. they weren't thin they just were a little bit thinner like, than they should I have looked been. like I had the biggest like I thought I was always like it was inquiring bit, like what's wrong it was a little bit too much of an arch you looked surprised <laughs> hey guys you ready to go have some time together buddy Moo. Moo. <laughs> <laughs> we really really liked meeting his neurosurgeon, Dr. Steinberg, here at Stanford. We've heard amazing things that he is the best of the best, and uh, we were really happy to meet him today. He was very kind and very sweet with Lincoln, and uh, just kind of walked us through everything that he plans to do, and why, and, and all of that, answering all of our questions, and so I think we feel, at this point, pretty prepared and ready for surgery. Um, I don't know if you ever feel fully ready yeah. for this kind of thing for your child, but as ready as we can be. And um, it was nice that he, this morning really, I mean, he just kind of anticipated all of our questions, all of yeah. our And he's been doing this for like 30 years, so. And our worries, all of that. He just yeah. kind of answered all that before we could even ask it, which was, mm -hmm. we were both grateful because we didn't want to. I know there were certain his things. Expertise or anything like that. Even this morning, I was like, I, I kind of want to ask, like, has he lost patience before? Because you know we're talking about brain surgery here, and that that's a very scary thing, I think, for parents yeah. to think through. Um, and I, that was something I wanted to ask, but I was a little bit afraid to ask. And he he volunteered that information before um, before we even asked. He said he there's always risk involved, but He's never lost a patient so far, and he's been doing this for 30 years. And so that um, that was something we're really grateful to hear. And, uh, you know, just above all, just putting our, our faith and our trust in the Lord and knowing that no matter how it turns out and what, you know, what the recovery time is going to look like and all of that, we know that uh, we can trust the Lord to be with us. And uh, we know he loves Lincoln even more than we do. And so um, just really trying to rest in that. God's good. We know this. And um, we can just place our trust in him. And so that's, that's what we're going to do. Indeed. You got your finger? <laughs> Happy little guy. He always has like one sock on. I try to like keep shoes on my child, but he just does not keep them on. So we're working on finding something because he's going to be having his leg braces soon. Um, we were supposed to get those in before surgery and there was a delay and so we'll, we'll be getting those in as soon as we get back. But um, we've been looking for some good shoes for him that we can like tie on really well <laughs> to yeah. keep them on his feet because he's going to have braces that he's going to need shoes for. And so um, that will be interesting to see how we're going to be able to keep shoes on his feet. Yes, he loves to be barefoot, don't you, Lincoln? Love you, Linky. Love you, buddy. <laughs> I love when I he love scrunches, he scrunches his yeah. nose up. Yeah. 
his happy smile when he's like really happy and he's like scrunching his nose up. It's so, so cute. Love our sweet boy. What a fun little elevator. There's my dad, the man. Here's my dad. <laughs> Say what's up, Pappy. What's up? This is Carm and his wife. Hello. It's a good, good day. Getting to hang out, eat some dim sum. What better time to go to the city than Tuesday, you know? We parked like a block. Really? That's awesome. We parked like 17 blocks from here. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to walk through Chinatown. Get to see Pappy? It was so much fun. Yay! Get to meet Pappy and Carmen. Yeah. Yeah. And they love you. They love me. They love you. We had the sweetest time in San Francisco this evening with Steven's dad and his wife Carmen. We are ready to hop into bed now. Are you ready, Lincoln? He's holding his frankincense bottle. We put frankincense on him every night. We've been doing that since his seizures stopped. Every time I pull the bottle out, he knows, and he like leans his head forward, like, put it on my head. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln, are you ready to go night-night? Yeah. yeah, family day tomorrow, and then surgery the next day. We're looking forward to having some time together just to relax. Ready to go night-night? <laughs> Dude, that's funny.